Okay, so here's a second example about using the period of a, a function to find its value. We've just done this one in a previous video. Here's the second one. This is secant of negative pi over four plus 222 pi. All right, so first and foremost, let's figure out where negative pi over four is. Where's this angle? And at this point, you should have a pretty good understanding. Negative angles get measured this way and pi over four is equivalent to 45 degrees. So the angle that we start with in this problem is this angle right here. Okay, so that's negative pi over four. Now, they wanna know what the secant of that angle is. Okay, now if you're in my class and you've heard me say this a couple of times at this point, we're not gonna do secant, we're gonna do cosine. Okay, so we're gonna find the cosine of this angle and then when we're done, we'll take whatever our output is and we'll flip it over because secant is the reciprocal of cosine, okay? So now we're focusing on the cosine of this angle. Now this is where negative pi over four is, it's right here. Where's negative pi over four and then adding 222 pi, okay? I don't wanna make you dizzy, but let's think about this for a second. If we add to this angle, that means we're rotating the arm this way. So if I add one full rotation around the unit circle to negative pi over four, I'd still end up here, right? So that would be, if I may, that would be the angle negative pi over four plus two pi, right? So we started at negative pi over four, we added one full rotation to end up here, okay? Well, this angle is saying the cosine of negative pi over four. Now add 222 pi. Well, the trick to this is knowing your even and odd numbers, right? Because 222 pi is two pi times 111. So two pi, the full rotation of the unit circle times 111, this means 111 rotations around the unit circle or the circle here okay so if we take this and I'm, i don't i'm not going to do all of them okay but if i add two pi once there's two pi add it again there's four pi add it again there's six eight ten i could do 111 of these i'm still going to end up here so really if you're looking at this problem adding an even multiple of pi to any angle is a it gives you a coterminal angle for that. So really, we're not going anywhere. Okay, they're not asking us to add this to this. They're saying start at negative pi over four, which is here, and then rotate 111 times around, and you'd still end up in that spot. So we might as well just use the negative pi over four for this. Okay, now. To answer this question, what is the cosine of negative pi over four? What are the coordinates here, right? Radical two over two and negative radical two over two. So the cosine is radical two over two. So what's the secant? We flip that over and we have two over radical two and then we rationalize, okay? We're gonna have to get used to doing this quite a bit. Two radical two over two, those cancel. So the answer to this question, the secant of negative pi over four plus 222 pi is radical two. It's the cosine of that angle flipped over.